All right, and away we go. Come on, get the focus. You got it. All right. So, look at me getting all professional. This is a first attempt at a talk bed kind of thing. And doesn't look like anybody's here yet. So, mainly going to be recording this for uh, figuring out what to do better with it. I can already see that my green screen kind of right here. I think I know what's going on there. It's because my lamp is there. So I don't have consistent lighting here. So that's probably what it is. So, but I really like how the uh, the overlay thing is working because I'm not going over the text here. You can always see the text right there. That's always nice. Ooh, and this text up here. But maybe which direction? Which direction? That one. Yeah, that text over there. So that stays on screen the whole time. And then the chat is, nope, over there. There we go. Just got to get my, uh, my camera figured out. But yeah, so this is going to be the chat bed segment. Now, I guess I'll take a moment to describe what is going on tonight. Tonight is the premiere of the first wave of my amiibo experiment. I have been doing a small experiment where I take two fresh amiibo and see how they learn only having ever fought themselves. I put together a short little video that I will be premiering here in just a moment and then after the video there is a special surprise and then we'll take the rest of the stream from there and figure out what we want to do. So, With that being said and without further ado on with the show. Super Smash Brothers, the big, multi-franchise Nintendo fighter, and if you don't already have it, you want it. And if nothing else, you're finding that friend who does have it so you can get together and play it. But it's got this interesting little feature, Amiibo compatibility. Amiibo are Nintendo's NFC figurines of their various characters and franchises. Neat thing about Amiibo is you can put it in the fight and challenge yourself against it, or even have it battle with you and your friends. Amiibo learn as they battle adapting their fighting styles to match what they've seen other players do. If you block a lot, they're going to block a lot. If you use a lot of special moves, they're going to use a lot of special moves. And if you really like to hunt down those items, they are going to crave them like nothing else. But what, pray tell, would happen if two amiibo never fought anyone else except for each other, all the way to level 50? This was a question presented to me by a friend of mine while we were playing one day, and I decided to see what happens. I took two fresh amiibo, and I pitted them against each other, and only each other, on the two minute time limit, with item frequency varying from medium to high, and the stage was always random in its regular form. The two amiibo I decided to take on this quest are arguably the two greatest matriarchs Nintendo has ever had, Princess Zelda and Princess Peach. Starting at level 1 all the way to level 20, the two of them kind of fumbled around for a while. Unfortunately, due to a file error, I don't have footage of what they were like between 1 and 20. But from about 20 onward, they started to develop their own personalities and quirks. Both of them pretty equally went after items, but Zelda seemed to favor them over Peach. Zelda did take quite a strong lead and pretty much kept her lead the entire time. Every match usually ended in a sudden death, and in most cases, Zelda would get a quick hit off for the lucky strike. Peach did win her fair share, but out of 34 matches, 
Peach won 13, and Zelda won 21 of them, and these 34 matches led them all the way to level 50. One thing I did notice is that when Peach was losing consistently, she seemed to level up faster. I would assume that's the experience system trying to make up for the fact that she wasn't doing very well. And then once the levels kind of evened out, and Peach won a round or two, Zelda would just come back strong and knock her down a peg or two, and Peach would continue to level up pretty quickly. Zelda was actually only level 46 by the time that Peach reached level 50. Being that high in level though didn't seem to help her very much, as Zelda still stood strong and took most of the matches. This seemed to lead to Zelda developing a sort of offensive personality. She would use a lot of her special attacks, and when Peach would take the offensive, she would use her reflect very often. Now what was interesting about this is Peach tended to be a lot more defensive. She would run around the stage a lot, try to keep her distance, and even when Zelda attacked from a distance that had no chance of getting to Peach, she would whip out Toad to defend herself. It seems that since Peach was struggling to keep the lead in terms of how many matches she won, she developed a more defensive personality and tried to play as such. There were quite a few matches where I thought Zelda was going to be the clear winner, but Peach did have a few victories every now and again as the underdog. About halfway through the leveling, I decided to switch things up from medium item rate and bump it up to high to see if they would favor the items more. Zelda did tend to grab items more often and use them to her advantage, Peach would grab them every so often, and for some reason every time she wanted to throw one would throw it straight up in the air. There were very few times when she actually threw an item in terms of trying to take advantage of her opponent. She would just throw it straight up. Doesn't matter what it was, doesn't matter if Zelda was close to her or not, it was going up. And this included the radishes pretty often. When I finally had them both level 50, I decided to throw a little twist in the mix. Instead of having them battle on regular stages with a high item or medium item rate, I decided to throw them onto Omega form stages for three matches to see who would get the best of three. I was actually really impressed because Peach took the very first match, but ultimately Zelda followed with the other two. So, suffice to say, since Zelda took the offensive approach, she did come out on top. So in conclusion, it all depends on who gets the upper hand in the beginning to determine what route an amiibo takes. If its only other opponent is an amiibo. Not once was a regular human opponent thrown into this mix, so it was a really interesting experiment to watch. But it really does seem like getting the upper hand in the beginning is a surefire way for an amiibo to achieve victory amongst its fellows. What would happen if our two level 50 princesses went up against six of their peers of varying level and skill? Join me on this as we go live right now to settle it and smash! And that's exactly what we're doing. So yeah, I threw that little video together last night. It was kind of fun. <clears throat> but as you can see, right here we have our two level 50 princesses right behind me here. Yep, perfect. So who are going to be their opponents this evening? We've got someone else who was featured in the video. A level 33 Link named White Knight. We have... Whoop. I need to finish registering some of my newer amiibo. Shoot, well, that didn't go as smoothly as planned. Let me move some windows around here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And close the video. And switch my TV over so I can actually see what I'm doing in real time. Okay. Alright, well, let's go fix this uh, lack of registered amiibos. Yes, set me as the owner. Well, let's go with the red outfit. I didn't name my chic secret Zelda. Not at all. Yeah, I know how this works.
Okay. So I didn't really get the time to set these up, obviously. But that's okay. It just means it won't be nearly as much of a surprise when I put the roster together. Always gotta go Waluigi. done here. Ah. Only got two more to register. Seriously, Bowser is a beefy mother. Just, hmm, so heavy. I like the blue. Cold blood. The fact that a little smoke comes out of his mouth, it kind of looks like frost. Works all too well. And finally, I finally got this guy today. This is the reason that I'm doing this tonight. Because he makes an even roster of eight. Finally got my Mega Man. He's been paid off for over a month. Oh, let's go with... Yeah, we'll just go tried and true blue. Yep, I'm just naming him Rock. Because I'm a nerd like that. Save him. Okay. Now we're ready. Smash. Eight player. Peach. Zelda. Sheik. Link. Kirby was named and uh, modeled by my wife. She likes that costume. Alright. Could have sworn we had some more eight player stages. Let's start off here. Let's see who the best amiibo is, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off, and we'll just watch. Who's off to a good start already? Beaches. Surprisingly enough. We'll do a few matches with this eight way. So I want to do a stock elimination to see how well that works out. Who's getting the smash ball? Peach, what are you doing? Use the smash.
This is pure madness. Mega Man programmed stupid when he first comes out of the box? Because I just unboxed him like shortly before starting the stream. Luigi? He was one of the brand spanking new ones too. Peach and Zelda coming in second and third doesn't entirely surprise me, but Luigi's an upset here. That is... That's crazy. How did he get five KOs? One against one of our level 50 princesses. That's crazy. One more. This time on something a little bit more hazard prone. Why not? So many people hate this stage. Why not? After this, we'll set stock to three, and we'll start doing some elimination rounds. Now, where's Luigi? You want to keep your eye on him? There he is. Down in the lower left there. Got to keep your eye on him. Crazy. I mean, Peach and Zelda being level 50, it did not surprise me that they at least took high positions in the last bout. But having one of the level 1s just come out of nowhere... Oh, she got the time thing. Mega Man, you let them pick up your metal blade. We're gonna have to do some training. Beach, you're not gonna win if you keep going over there. Expected result. With Peach all the way back in sixth. Oof. What's going on there? Now let's do some stock-based elimination.
Three stocks, good. Yeah, we'll keep all that. Let's see who comes out on top, shall we? court advantage here. And so does Sheik, technically. going to do is we're going to remove any placing last just to slowly narrow things down to see just who is the best amiibo <clears throat> and what's really interesting is the chaos factor of the level one amiibos still learning from scratch the level 30 some amiibos having some experience as it is, and the level 50s having fought nothing but other amiibos. Which essentially the original level 1 amiibos are getting the same experience. All I gotta say is I really hope, I really, really hope that the Mega Man Amiibo can be used in more than just this game effectively. Like, yes, in Hyrule Warriors, Mega Man's going to be one of my regular present Amiibos until I have enough Zelda Amiibos for all the... all the weapons. So right now I've got three Zelda Amiibos. I've got Zelda, Sheik, and Link. So I have slots for two other Amiibos for random presents. Eventually I'll have a Ganondorf. They're possibly a Toon Link. But Peach keeps getting the Smash Ball. Has anyone else noticed this? We've had a couple of lives lost. Bowser and Luigi. Mega Man's got almost 300% damage and has not lost a life yet. This is crazy! Speaking of crazy! <laughs> There went Mega Man. I think once we get done with, with the elimination matches here, I'll do one on ones with the amiibo as the character. So like, if I'm facing the Mega Man, I'll play as Mega Man. If I'm facing the Peach, I'll play as Peach. Please, we got it. Oh. Bowser, you are amazing. Unless you don't get any KOs with this. Nope, no KOs. Oh, come on, Bowser. This is absolute madness, and I love it. I 
And our two level 50 princesses from the experiment are still holding strong. But Kirby, my goodness. How has Kirby not lost a life yet? Never mind. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm loving this. Having just gotten Mega Man today, having Luigi, Bowser, and Sheik brand spanking new. Whoop. Sorry about that. <laughs> Left the controller still for too long. Link and Kirby I've been working with, and then Peach and Zelda being the two that I leveled up to 50 fighting only each other. Some really great factors involved here. I guess this will be a good time to discuss what Wave 2 of the Amiibo experiment is going to be. Um, since I leveled up Peach and Zelda against each other from 1 to 50, kind of figuring out how their personalities formed in the process. I mean, Peach became really defensive because she kept losing pretty early on, and Zelda became really offensive because she kept winning really early on. And that really did affect how the matches played out in the 40s and level 50 stage. I'm interested to see if it'll do the same thing or something similar with two completely different amiibo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of the amiibo that are not Peach and Zelda. I'm actually not going to use Link or Kirby due to the fact that I've had them the longest. They're kind of uh, there's a, a, a connection there, if you will. So it'll either be Luigi, Bowser, Mega Man, or Sheik. I'm going to wipe them clean, start them over, and proceed pretty much the same experiment, just with the different characters, and see if the progression is roughly the same. Okay, don't summon an assist trophy at that bottom platform. <laughs> Knuckle Joe just did not survive. down to... Okay, we've lost Luigi, Bowser, and Mega Man. That's crazy. Oh, and there went Sheik. Okay, so all of our level 1 starters are gone. Sorry for the silence, I'm sending out a tweet to try and get some attention. Yeah, it's not like I'm playing right now. <laughs> okay. 
so far with stock results, it's pretty much what I expected. I think it's a little strange that Zelda's the one that's being kind of defensive this time around. Oop. I gotta remember to move the controller every so often. See who it comes down to. This is getting interesting. Peach, what are you doing? some more channels to branch out to on social media. And besides Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, my website, that's pretty much all that is going on right now. Oh, we lost Peach! Too bad we didn't get Waluigi summoned while Luigi was still in the bout. That would have been funny. Well, things are starting to get interesting. You're not going to get him from down there, babe. I was not expecting this to take this long. We may not do eliminations. Well, maybe. Kirby! Kirby! Fluffy! So, Luigi... Luigi fell out there. Well, let's see. And then there were seven. Officially, all kind of crazy already. Link's looking good already with one life lost because he fell off the stage. Mega Man's trying to fight Donkey Kong up there. <clears throat> I wish I had some experience with uh, sports announcing. That can really make this fun. 
Bowser's heating things up in the corner. Peach proves that she can save her own princess. Kirby looks like a mummy when he's look when he's uh, dressed up as Sheik. Especially in that color. Wow, Zelda blocked a blue shell. I haven't had too many deaths yet. There we go. Peach, what are you doing? You're supposed to be one of the ones on top. Zelda's reinforcing the experiment, though. Zelda's actually kept things pretty strong. I mean, the fact that she took second in the last bout was not too surprising. It's not going to be too long now. I'm going to have four level 50s with the way Kirby and Zelda are leveling, or uh, Link, excuse me, are leveling up. Oh, Mega Man, you were doing so good! And Zelda's keeping strong. Of course, so's that Kirby. Surprise upset. But, let's see, yeah, the ones that started off at level one. The ones that got knocked out first again. So we'll see who we're eliminating after this. Say, this has been an interesting experiment seeing just how amiibo work. Kirby and Link have fought against human opponents before. The other four, Luigi, Bowser, Mega Man, and Sheik, have not. They all started at level one today. Oh, Zelda got the Smash Ball finally. Gonna use it. It looks like she just got all three of them with that. We're gonna have to go back and watch that later. <laughs> That's probably a highlight. That is an expected result. The fact that Zelda leveled up to 50 all by herself, only ever fighting Peach. Alright. Sheik fell out first, so Sheik gets eliminated. Yeah, Zelda got Link and Peach at the same time. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, so Sheik got eliminated.
and then there were six. See how this bout goes. I'm really looking forward to wiping a couple of these newer amiibo and starting them with the same experiment that Peach and Zelda were in. Just to see if I get similar results. This stream, including the little analysis video that I played earlier, that'll all be uploaded to YouTube if anybody wants to go back and watch it. So that YouTube is just Marcus Raven. No 86 on the YouTube channel. I set that up a while ago. Surprisingly, Marcus Raven seems to be a popular name every so often. That's why I have to throw the 86 on it. I wonder who Marcus Raven on Twitch is. We'll have to figure that out. Let's see, how we doing? Well, Peach is holding her ground this time around. Kirby better be careful this time. <clears throat> oh, who got the Andros? I missed it. Oof. Okay, Link got a pretty sweet hit there for a second. Of course, he still died in the process, but that was a pretty impressive smack. Ooh, okay, Zelda being one of my level 50s needs to step her game up. She should not be struggling that bad this time around. That just goes to show that level doesn't always make the difference. I mean, the two princesses who were leveled up to 50 just by fighting each other and only each other, they've had some pretty significant advantage, but as the newer amiibos are leveling up a bit, and my older amiibos have had some human interaction. It seems like things are starting to level themselves out in terms of skill and it's just kind of becoming as random as a regular Smash match would be. It's no fun if the same person wins every time. <clears throat> Gotta make it a party. Peach is still holding strong. So is Link. Who's getting the smash ball this time? Oh, Bowser got it again. Let's see if he can actually get any KOs this time. That is a rough stage for Giga Bowser. <laughs> yeah, no KOs. Zelda! I have to eliminate Zelda this time? Oh, I was not expecting that at all. Now I'm really curious who's going to come out on top in this elimination match. Mega Man, what are you doing? Committing robotic suicide. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. <clears throat> A 
Well, once we finish the elimination match, I will be going through each of these eight amiibo and challenging them. Whoops. Gotta move the controller. I'll be challenging each of them on m by myself as the character that they are. So, we'll see how that goes. We're gonna see who comes out on top in this eight-way elimination. Peach is actually throwing items in a productive manner. No, that's adorable. <clears throat> better watch out. It's not doing too hot. Took a crap ton of damage out of nowhere. Hey! Cholate or Cholate Gamer? Not sure how to pronounce that exactly. Um, what this is is my personal amiibo experiment. This started with a question that a friend of mine gave to me of what would happen if two amiibo never had any human interaction and only fought each other. Since amiibo learn as they fight, it created an interesting situation where I wanted to know how they would end up fighting. Um, at the beginning of the stream, I played a little synopsis video of what I did. I took Peach and Zelda and leveled them up from 1 to 50, only ever fighting each other. And what was interesting was Peach had trouble winning a lot of matches, so she ended up developing sort of a defensive personality, whereas Zelda won most of the matches that they fought and took on a more offensive personality. Um, Tonight was showcasing those results and then just having some fun with the amiibo. I started off with a couple rounds of just eight-way whatever, and now we're doing an elimination match where the loser gets cut out, and then we're going to see who comes out on top. After that, I'm going to go one-on-one -on -one with each character as that character. I am not a great Smash player by any means, so I'm probably going to lose a lot of those, but not too worried about it. We're having fun. <clears throat> but it's just basically been... A fun romp to see how amiibo react to things. Like we've got some in here that have never had any human interaction whatsoever. Uh, most of them, actually. The only two that have had human interaction are uh, Link and Kirby, because those were my very first two amiibos. Who just fell? Ah, Bowser. Mm. Yeah, so tonight's just been a fun amiibo night. I finally have eight amiibo. Mega Man is my newest. I picked him up earlier today. I had him pre-ordered since last month. I've been waiting for my GameStop to get him in. And since I have a full roster of eight, we're just playing around. Okay, this was unexpected. I'll take it. All right, so we're cutting Zelda out this time. <clears throat> but yeah, this is not a normal stream that I'm doing. Here, let me turn my camera on for a second. Hi there. What is that light? Oh, my wife has her side table lamp on. Um, this is not one of my normal uh, nights. What I usually do on weekdays right now is I'm playing through Super Nintendo uh, platforming games. Okay, we gotta cut Zelda. And then on the weekends I do a hard mode thing, which I'm doing Kingdom Hearts Proud mode right now, Saturday mornings. And then I do a co-op thing called Co-op Crapshoot on Saturday evenings. And I'm actually gonna be restructuring my stream relatively soon. Uh, my times are gonna be changing due to family obligations. But, um... But yeah, for the most part, I'm what you would consider a variety streamer. Um, I am going to go ahead and turn off my camera again so that you can see uh, Peach's damage. Boop. But uh, but I do a lot of different things. I prefer a lot of retro. I play a lot of older games just because that's the, the era that I grew up in with Super Nintendo. And I'm a big Mega Man and Zelda fan. 
a little bit more Mega Man than Zelda, but a lot of my my stream related things right now are Zelda themed. Hmm. Like I've got a chat bed with uh, with concept art from Ocarina of Time 3D behind it. Uh, currently, my Elgato based pre show is Wind Waker. <clears throat> I have eight amiibo. Uh, the ones that got eliminated before you got here were Luigi, Sheik, let's see, we're down five, yeah. So I've got Luigi, Sheik, and Zelda were already eliminated, and then we've got Mega Man, Kirby, Link, Peach, and Bowser. <clears throat> and I play a lot of Hyrule Warriors, in my personal time, so that's why I have a lot of Zelda Amiibos, three to be exact. Hoping to get Ganondorf and Toon Link in the near future. Is Ganondorf even out yet? I don't know. But, um... <clears throat> excuse me. But the Amiibo have been fun. I really enjoy how they work them into Hyrule Warriors. I've really loved the Smash Brothers thing. I mean, this is the culmination of what you can do in Smash Brothers. This is fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to how they're using them in uh, in future games. <clears throat> but what's really interesting is in this eight-way battle that I've been doing with all these guys, Mega Man, Bowser, Luigi, and Sheik all started at level one. Uh, Kirby and Link started at about mid-30s, and then Peach and Zelda were 50 from the experiment I did with just them. Bowser, if your gigaform is any testament, you do not do well when you're bigger. Yep. <laughs> and we're eliminating Mega Man! I'm sad now. That's okay. <clears throat> but yeah, I've got quite a bit of uh, variety of games in my Steam account that I stream every so often. I've been playing Psychonauts pretty recently. Uh, I do take her game requests. If I have it, I will gladly play it. If I don't have it, I will look into the possibility of getting it eventually. Um, I have quite a bit of Wii U stuff. I also stream PS3. I have an Ouya, but I haven't streamed anything with that yet. Um, I do have an Xbox 360, but not a whole lot to show for that. And then pretty much anything retro. Super Nintendo was the age I grew up, so I love playing that on stream. In fact, uh, if you want to see what the current project is for the normal weekday stream, uh, exclamation mark platformers in the chat will give you a link to the list of Super Nintendo platformers that I'm working through. What this list is, is pretty much what is believed to be all platforming games for the Super Nintendo. There's about 253 games, and I've made it all the way to the S section, I've been playing them alphabetically. We are getting closer to the entire Super set. Super Mario, Super Metroid, every all those games that started with Super. So we'll see how that goes. But the Super Nintendo platformer thing is more of a showcase. It's not really a I'm trying to finish all these games. It's I'm playing enough of them to see what they're like and then moving down the list. I usually get about somewhere between seven to ten games in a two-hour stream. Ah. I've got to remember to hold on to the controller and just move it around a little. Oh, Kirby get the smash ball. I've seen Peach's smash way too much. Oh, so close. <laughs> <clears throat> But yeah. So, 
I mean, the easiest way to describe me is a variety streamer. Uh, on that note, if being a variety streamer, I do have things that happen, and sometimes my game plan changes, my stream plan entirely changes. Uh, in that sense, if you do want to keep up with what I'm doing, uh, MarcusRain86 on Twitter would be the best way to keep up with that. Alright, so we're eliminating Mega Man. And then there were four. But I have the stage set to random automatically right now, so that's why we're not seeing the stage select. And items are on medium. Honestly, this is pretty much the way I like to play this game. I am not a competitive player at all. I like the variety, I like the randomness, I really enjoy the chaos. Because to me, that's what this game is about. Oh, there's the YouTube channel. Yep. And uh, Never Morris in the chat, if you haven't picked up, is my bot. He doesn't have a lot of commands. I use Ankbot to handle commands and announcements and all that. <clears throat> but Morris is harmless. He doesn't bite. Unless I program him to, but I haven't done that yet. Oh no, that would be fun. I could do a fight command. In fact, I mean, I'm not playing anything. Let me look at making a bite command. That's a good idea. <laughs> Let's see. Who's holding up? Beach and Kirby. Not sure how to do the bike command. I'll have to look up some info on Onkbot later. That's okay. I'm guessing we're gonna have to knock Bowser out next. Link and his problem with Kukos. Another thing is I am working towards getting a 3DS capture card. I only need about 250 bucks. There's been a couple donations towards it. I need to tally some things up to see where I'm actually at with it. But once I get the 3DS capture card, I plan on playing Monster Hunter 4 on stream because I have a lot of people that want to be in my party for that. So that's going to be a fun multiplayer thing I'm doing. Um, I also really want to showcase some single player 3DS stuff because the 3DS has some great games. Eddie5769, hello to yourself. Welcome to the stream. And just to explain the chaos that's going on, if you don't know, uh, I did an amiibo experiment to see how two amiibo would level up and how they would fight if they only ever fought each other. And then the culmination of the results of that led to me just having fun with an eight-way amiibo smash. So we're doing an elimination bout right now. Four of our amiibo have been eliminated. We've gotten rid of Sheik, Luigi, Zelda, and Mega Man. And Bowser is going to be eliminated after this round. And then we've got Peach, Link, and Kirby. I do hope you all are having fun watching. Thanks for coming out, I really appreciate it. <clears throat> I try to have fun here and interact with my chat as much as possible. But at the same time, try not to be overbearing, because... Streamers that call out lurkers, that's something I try not to do. I did it a couple times when I was still new to streaming. 
never worked out well. But, yeah, if you want to ask questions, chat about something, I'm all for interacting with the chat. see who who's it gonna be I'm surprised Peach has lasted this long she had the defensive not very well fighting personality Wow oh, there's the radish straight up yep there's the item straight up thing in my experiment when I was leveling Zelda and Peach up Peach would only ever throw her items straight in the air. It didn't matter what it was. She just she just threw stuff straight up. <laughs> her radishes, capsules. It didn't matter what it was. It was going up. Once we're done showcasing the 8-way amiibo thing, I'll go ahead and turn my cam on when I'm doing fighting against them. Ooh, this is close. They have the same damage. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be something stupid? boomerangs do we need, really? expecting this to end on a stupid technicality. Oh, well, maybe. Yep. Yep. Stupid technicality. Peach missed the stage. We shall eliminate Bowser. <clears throat> Later, cold blood. And away we go. The fact that Peach did not come out on top in the experiment, I'm going to be really surprised if she ends up winning this whole 8-way thing. And impressed. Kirby on the heavy offensive right away. And it is rather interesting that it came down to these three. I'm honestly surprised Zelda got eliminated as early as she did. But Kirby and Link were my first two amiibos. Link was my first amiibo. And he and Kirby are the only two that have had human interaction. Link was actually in my synopsis video from the beginning of the stream. Link's going after Ridley. I was not expecting that. I do not have the Toon Link amiibo, but I really do want to get him eventually. 
I mean, I have Hyrule Warriors, so I honestly want every Zelda-themed amiibo regardless. <clears throat> That the eight that are participating in tonight's stream are the only eight I have. So just to go down the list, that's Luigi, Sheik, Zelda, Mega Man, Bowser, Peach, Link, and Kirby. Oof. I'm getting a sneaking suspicion it's going to come down to Kirby and Peach. Hey, Link's level 50, alright. The fact that they've leveled up as much as they have... It's making me not look forward to the uh, one-on-ones I'm about to do. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Well... That yeah, could be any... Could be anyone's fight now. This is crazy. Kirby. Mm. It officially came down to Peach and Kirby. And the surprising thing about that is, as far as my two amiibo that have had human interaction go, Kirby was of a lesser level. Wow, look at that. Alright. Taking out the White Knight. This is it. Let's officially see who the best of my eight amiibo is. Three, two, one. Now, overall level did have a factor to do with this, so it'd be really interesting to rerun this once everybody's level 50, but that's not happening tonight. Maybe in the future when I present Wave 2. So wave 2 of the experiment is I'm going to take two of my newer amiibo, wipe them clean, and level them up to see if they level up in the same pattern as the princesses did. that Kirby had that custom version of Final Cutter. Feel the stretch in your side. What is Kirby doing? Now return to your original position. Alright, who's getting the Smash Ball? Connected. Oof. And there's level 50 for Kirby. Just keep trying, Kirby.
You know, with the one-on-one -on -one matches, I'm gonna back out of the eight-way smash. I don't need stages that big. It's really interesting that you can actually see what the back of a Sparky looks like. <laughs> Who do we think it's going to be, guys? Kirby or Peach? Keep in mind, Peach has been level 50 this whole time. Kirby just got to level 50. It's also really interesting to see what strategies, or in most cases lack thereof, the amiibo use with items. <laughs> Eddie's thinking fluffy. Ooh, we have a bullet bill. Ooh. Watch the flow of my movements as I demonstrate. Wow, we almost had that on a technicality of the bullet bill going off screen. Two smash balls! If this connects, Kirby gets this to connect. It's over. And it's over. <laughs> yeah. Kirby is officially the best of all of my amiibo. Eddie, thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciated. Nice to have you. Alright. Well, that takes care of the 8-way smash portion. Oh gosh, let me get everybody saved. Once we get everybody saved here, then we'll go into some one-on-ones. We'll see how I fare against the army of Amiibo. Like I said, I am not a good Smash player by any means. I play this game just for fun. I am not competitive. I have a hard time remembering to block. <laughs> So we'll see how this goes. All right, that's everybody. Smash. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go in order of who was eliminated, working ourselves up to Kirby. So the first one that was eliminated from the 8-way smash Luigi. was our dear friend Luigi. And in these one-on-ones, I am playing as the same... Gotta go pink. No. That's what I wanted. Oh. Rabbit in here. Rabbit's my wife. Her full username is WhiteRabbit87. She goes by that because she always thinks she's late, even when she's on time. Eventually, she wants to start streaming more as well. So, be on the lookout for announcements on when she starts playing stuff. Come on. Crap! 
Hurricane. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Okay, now that was cool, though, what I did with the barrel there. <laughs> Woo! Come on, Luigi. Okay. Oh, I forgot to turn my cam on. <laughs> Sick as a dog. I oh, hope you feel better, man. I'll turn my cam on after this match. Aww. Boom! Really, Luigi? sleep while waiting for me. Yeah, I got off to a late start tonight because I had to pick my sister-in-law up from from uh, classes. But, um, there is actually going to be a change in the times that I stream. Uh, I'm actually going to be starting my weekday streams at 8 now. So. Meds are kicking your butt. Wow, he just rode that drill, didn't he? <laughs> so, so far... Uh, who's my main? I usually main Mega Man. I've surprisingly enjoyed Pac-Man a time or two. But Mega Man's my usual go-to, and... Uh, in the last game, I usually used Luigi, Peach, or Samus. Hmm. Okay. So, that was Luigi. Next. Now, I have used Sheik maybe twice. Let me turn my cam back on. There we are. Hmm. Sheets moves are. What are you doing? Being so defensive. Saw that coming. Come on. No. Well, I was knocked down on the ground. That was fun. Cheap shot. Super cheap shot. I'm not entirely sure what just happened to me. That was 
You jumped into it. Are you kidding me? Ugh. for being a problem. Seems like frame rate's not exactly great. I'm not dropping any frames according to OBS, but... Frame rate may be dropping in the Elgato itself. at all. No, really? Wow. I was not expecting that. So I lost to Sheik. Hmm. Considering I hardly ever play as Sheik, that's actually not too unexpected. So let's see, who's next? Oh boy. Here we go. Level 50 amiibo. play a Zelda either, but I'm doing a lot better than I was with Sheik. No, you give me that right now. That's just... but it helps.
I have no idea what's happening. That's better. Oh, really? That was pathetic on all accounts. <laughs> now that was bomb. No. Alright, that evens things out. No. You are not getting that. That does not have the knockback that I hoped it had. But this will. Well then. Oh gosh. Come on, Metroid buddy, get get over there. I know you're mine. It came down to the true one-on-one -on -one there. That was actually rather impressive against a level 50 amiibo. At least I think so. Note to self, next time I stream, turn off my wife's lamp. Okay, next up. Old Blue. Now this is my usual main, so we'll see how this goes. Zelda's got some power, and I can definitely see. I caught the chicken. <laughs> yes. Items are definitely to my advantage most of the time. Omega Man, which one are you talking to? You put that Pokeball down. Wow. That was real impressive there, Mega. True fact. Metal Blade does more damage if it's thrown after the fact. Come on. Yes! <laughs> the one who's gonna win? Good call. Good call. Sorry, that one deserved a taunt. think you're doing? Hmm? is not the right direction there, Mega. I actually have the entire Mega Man cartoon on DVD. 
My kids watch it. it. Makes me so proud as a father. Come here. Oh, let me go. Dunk? Nope, that wasn't actually a dunk. I know what a dunk is, but I still feel nice when I get hard knuckle to actually connect. But yeah, Metal Blade does slightly more damage if tossed after the fact. So, if you press B and immediately press down, it'll throw it right in front of you and can grab it. Still got me. Shoot. I love that smash, though. I can't be mad at that. Ow. When did you learn to block? I don't block much. Really need to. Crap. Halakman! The only thing that would make this better is if this was on Mega Man's stage. Oh gosh. I am too close to suck this up now. against Mega Man. Super Saiyan Bowser. <clears throat> Thank you, gamer. cheap shot. I don't care! <laughs> you only have one viewer? How long have you been streaming for? Honestly, I consider this one of my good nights. close. was not too bad. <laughs> Alright. 
Next. Oh boy. Where is he? There he is. say the amiibos don't have any sense of urgency in terms of getting back on screen when they're in the uh, magnifying glass. much better than I expected against a level 50 Link. Now granted, this is on a pretty hectic stage, but still much better than I was expecting. Oh, he's got two of them now? Shoot. I'm okay with this. I was not expecting that win. Well, so far I've won against half of them. One of which is one of our level 50s. I've lost against Sheik and Zelda. So I've lost against the same person twice. Yeah, that's how that works. Shut up. <laughs> All right. You know what? Yeah, I'll do the Daisy costume. Oh. It's 
not expecting this. Go grab the other peaches before she uses them. Oh, am I seriously that much of an idiot? No! Princess, you and I need to have some words. One of these words is give me this back. hit by the beetle. <sighs> okay. So far I've beaten all the guys and all the girls have beaten me. Depending on how you look at Sheik. And our final... One on one bout. The winner of the eight way smash amiibo knockout thing I did. Tournament. Yeah. Kirby knows how to fight! Really? Oh, now I just kind of feel stupid. Even the odds out, shall we? Mm. 
Not cool. I refuse to get hit by that friggin' beetle. for a cheap out because this is ridiculous. That was not the cheap out I was hoping for. <laughs> Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Well played, Kirby. Well played. Alright. Well, that about concludes my stream for the evening. It's all I had planned anyway. So I'm just going to extend the invitation. If you haven't done so already, please give me a follow on MarcusRaven86 here on Twitch as well as on Twitter for stream announcements and updates. And come back tomorrow evening at 8 o'clock, not 7 like I usually say. 8 o'clock tomorrow for my Super Nintendo Platformer Challenge. And let me just uh, throw that list in here real quick. Morse can't do commands on his own. Okay, anyway. If you do that command in the chat, you'll get the list of the 253 Super Nintendo platforming games that I've been playing through for the past few weeks. And we're making good progress. I'm in the S section, I'm coming up on the Super games, and uh, it's getting pretty interesting. Uh, so that'll be 8 o'clock tomorrow, Eastern. Uh, all these times are Eastern. Uh, I take Wednesdays off, but Thursday and Friday I'll be continuing with the platformers. Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern, I will be continuing with the Proud Mode run of Kingdom Hearts HD Remix. So, there's that. And then, hopefully, if all goes according to plan, Co-op Crapshoot will return at 6 p.m. Eastern with Terraria and with one of my mods, Steve. He's a great guy. He's hilarious. He and I went to high school together. It's a fun time. So, all you new guys from this evening, please consider coming back for those. It was great having you. Thank you so much for the follows I received tonight, as well as just you guys being here you're awesome um, I don't really have a post show set up I used to but I cleared all my settings out to try and get my Elgato fixed not too long ago so I'm just gonna put up the pre-show slide and play some music for you guys to go out on thank you again for being here you guys are awesome I have been Marcus Raven and I will see you next time bye bye